Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be looking at this all new 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L Limited. But before we get into the details, do me a favor and like and share the video. Also check out the link in the video description for all of the contact information for this vehicle as well as the affiliate links. Starting off up front, you are gonna have the Jeep signature front end grill full LED headlights as well as fog lights. This does have the chrome package as well. Very aggressive looking front end if I do say so myself. Coming around to the side, we've got these plastic fender flares to protect against rock chips and then paint corrosion that transfer over to plastic uh, guard on the rocker panels. The wheel and tire setup is a 18 inch wheel on 265 60 R18 Michelin Primacy LTXs. Your Grand Cherokee badging is right here with the American flag. Color matched mirror caps. Color matched door handles as well. Cargo rack up top with chrome accents. Very sporty looking SUV. Coming around to the tail lights, LED tail lights as well. Your limited badging is going to be right here. Parking sensors are integrated into the upper portion of the bumper. Right here protects the trailer hitch um, so it's out of sight when you are not towing. Backup camera is going to be right there. Your Jeep logo and then your LED third brake light up top. There's your L 4x4 badge. This vehicle does have the 3.6 liter V6 mated to an eight speed automatic transmission. Right over here we have your capless fuel fill port. Very nice looking vehicle. I like the chrome on black. The chrome accents everywhere look very nice. But for me, the front end is what really does it. Let's take a closer look at the interior. All right, so starting over here on the left-hand side, we have this really nice um, tan sandstone looking leather with this really nice wood looking accent trim. It is pretty dark, but you can see the grain in it. It looks very nice. Two seat memory, all of your window controls, the front driver and passenger window are automatic up and down. Your lock and unlock buttons as well as your child safety lock and then the controls for the rear view mirror, or the side mirrors, I should say. Right over here, we have all the lighting uh, controls for the vehicle. Here we have the dimmer switch for the ambient lights, and then the dimmer switch for the gauge cluster. And then under that, we have your uh, electronic parking brake. Coming up top to the dashboard, looks like we have a beautiful digital uh, LCD display cluster tachometer on the left, spinometer on the right, digital uh, MPH readout in the middle, and then your degrees of the exterior are right over here in this corner. Very, very cool. Seems like a lot of the manufacturers are going towards a fully digital display cluster. Leather wrap steering wheel with pretty aggressive bolsters at 10 and two. This guy does have paddle shifters, and just like any FCA vehicle, you have a seek or scan, and then a volume rocker on the back of the steering wheel. All of the control buttons for the center LCD display are gonna be right here on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. You can also go through different settings on the display itself, which is pretty cool. Hands-free call buttons are gonna be right there. Over here we have your, um, what is it? This is your uh, gap adjustment for your adaptive cruise control. And then your regular cruise control buttons are gonna be right here. Coming up top above the uh, LCD center display, we have your automatic start stop off. It is on by default. Lane keep assist button, uh, traction control off, hazard lights, and then the parking sensors for the rear off. Below that, we have a very high definition LCD touchscreen display. Does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. 
You can also control the heated and um, heated seats as well as heated steering wheel right here with the slider. This controls the driver's side uh, HVAC temperature, heated seat, heated steering wheel. And then over here, you have the temperature control for the passenger side, if this will focus for you. Uh, go home. Very high definition. Like I said, I'll put the vehicle in reverse. Very nice. Um, just beautiful, beautiful touchscreen. It does come with navigation, and you can also look through all of your um, vehicle settings. This does give you access to the rear view camera without putting it in reverse. And then up here you can actually fold the third row headrest down for more visibility. This does have Amazon Alexa. This is a very, very cool LCD touchscreen display. Under that you have all the physical buttons for the uh, ventilation in the vehicle. Heated seats, heated steering wheel, dual zone climate control, and then you have the volume and tune knobs on either side. Under that you have some more buttons for the HVAC system. In this gloss black storage compartment you just push up on this bar giving us access to two USB-C's, two USB's and an auxiliary jack as well as a 12 volt outlet. You also have some storage down in there as well. Right here is the gear selector and uh, mode selector for the vehicle. This does have a rotary dial shifter. And then you also have your modes right here. Right now I am in sport, auto, snow, sand, and mud. Behind that you've got two cup holders, which brings us to the center armrest. It is two-tiered. Shallow tier is right here. Deep tier is right here. Here's a closer look at the leather seats in this vehicle. Again, that wood trim continues throughout. Glove box right here. Coming up top to the vanity, it is LED lit for passenger as well as driver. They do give you a three door universal garage remote. If that'll focus. There we go. Up top, you have your LED dome map light buttons, the button to release the trunk, master dome light control, your assist and SOS buttons, as well as a glasses storage holder right here. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with this vehicle. I, I love the exterior design, the interior design, everything just flows really well. I love the high definition touchscreen display. Let's take a look at the back and see how much legroom we have. All right, getting in is real easy. They do give you this plastic little step up as well on the door sill. And we are up and in. With the driver's seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I'd say I have a solid four to five inches of legroom before my knees hit the front seat. You do get storage in the form of these little mesh pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. All of the rear HVAC controls are gonna be right here, including your heated driver captain's chairs. You have some HVAC vents here in the middle as well as on the B pillar which is very cool. I wish more SUVs did this sort of thing. The more air you can get back here for the rear passengers the better. Underneath that you have a 115 volt 150 watt power outlet as well as two USBs and two USB-C outlets. This does have the center seat that has a fold down armrest slash cup holder. Grab handles with integrated hanger hooks on both passenger and driver side. And then your LED dome map light is gonna be right there up top. Right now these rear seats are folded down. However, I will put them up and then we will look at the leg room back there. All right, so with these seats folded in the upright position, I have maybe an inch of leg room before my knees hit the front seat. You do get more HVAC vents back here for the rear passengers, and that is blowing very cold. LED dome map light, USB-C, USB port, and a little cup holder over here. If you look closely too, you do have another Jeep Easter egg. I believe Jeep includes these Easter eggs pretty much everywhere on all of their lineup. And over on this side, you got two of them. 
Over here you also have a USB and USB-C as well as a cup holder right there. Not a bunch of legroom back here, but there is only two seats, so it's not that bad. Um, to get out of the, the rear seats, you can fold this up until that little red notch is exposed. Then you can push the seat all the way forward, making getting in and out very easy, as you can see. Put the seat back, just simply pull on it, and you're good to go. This will let the seat go all the way to the back position. And in the farthest forward position, the rear passengers do get a little bit more legroom. Now to open the trunk on this vehicle, you're gonna use the key fob or you're gonna come up to it, go to the right of the P and Jeep, push the button. It'll beep at you a couple times and then it will automatically open. In floor storage right here with your spare tire jack behind that plastic piece right there. Little tie downs right here, as well as here. Grocery bag tie down, little storage pocket, 12 volt outlet. You hold that to set how high you want the trunk to go. You can push it to close to put down the seats, pull this little latch and push forward. Pull this latch and set that one forward. Now with that seat reclined as far as it can go back, these will not fall all the way flat. But when they are flat, you do have more little hooks on both passenger and driver side. When you're done, again, push that button. It'll beep at you a couple times and then it will automatically close. Let's take a quick look at the window. So here's a window sticker for this vehicle. Again, it's a 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L Limited 4x4 with a base price of $45,995. 3.6 liter V6 and an eight speed automatic transmission. Standard equipment's gonna be right here, transferred over onto this page. Your optional equipment is going to be right here for a total vehicle price of $49,725. Your fuel economy rating is right here. This vehicle is rated at 18 miles per gallon city, 25 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 21 miles per gallon. I'd like to give Pinckney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle or any of the 2021 Jeep lineup, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. Please check out the affiliate links in the description below. It does greatly help out the channel. And like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.